evening. I am Jim O'Connell, a member of the faculty at Sacred Heart, and I will be serving as our Master of Ceremonies for the 94th Annual Commencement Exercises, which we celebrate this evening. We are indeed most fortunate to be able to video our commencement here in the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, where our commencement exercises are traditionally held. We will be doing our best to include all the elements that are normally found in our commencement. Our commencement exercises are quite simple and follow a, a short format. While you are at home, please feel free to join in with any of the music that you might know, including our closing hymn, the Battle Hymn of the Republic, which dates back to the earliest commencement at Sacred Heart to offer our invocation this evening, I would like to call upon Auxiliary Bishop Juan Miguel Betancourt. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, you are the God of all joy and hope. We praise you for this Easter time as we celebrate the glorious triumph of your Son for our redemption. You have assisted us with the spirit of wisdom which has empowered all our work during this academic year with resolve, discovery, resourcefulness, and knowledge. As we finish an essential period in the formation of these, our students, to become fruitful members of your church and society, we come to you with prayerful gratitude for all the blessings they have received during all these years. And therefore, we commend to your care our families, relatives, friends, and benefactors, who with their support and sacrifice, we are all able to celebrate this day. We entrust to your love our teachers, staff, and administrators who have cared, mentored, and challenged us during our academic endeavors. For them all, we thank you. We pray to you for our students who have learned from each other sharing, collaboration, and friendship. Father, we have accomplished much, but faced many difficulties as well, especially during this time of the pandemic. Give us grace so that we all can appreciate that these young ones move into a new stage of their lives where there will be more challenges to face, more blessings to receive, and more effort will be demanded to accomplish great things. May your compassionate help relieve our anxieties and fears so that we may remain encouraged and firm about the future. We ask you for counsel and hope to move our efforts to work for what is just and right. Give us the courage to strive for a society where we can experience your peace, be thankful for your gifts, and devote ourselves to serve others. Grant us the strength to resist selfishness, pride, envy and laziness in our efforts to do and be our best. We rejoice and bless you for this day. May your Holy Spirit guide us as the next chapters of our lives unfold. Assist us in keeping alive your hope and love in the world as we walk together in solidarity to your kingdom. And may this celebration be a reflection of your blessings that we encounter in knowing and loving you. We ask this by the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, Saint Joseph, our Patron, through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To offer a welcome on behalf of the City of Waterbury, it is my pleasure to introduce the Mayor of Waterbury, Neil O'Leary. Thank you, and good evening, everyone. To Father Sullivan, Sacred Heart School Chaplain, Father William, of course, to our school president, Mrs. Regan, and principal, Mr. Azera, the incredible faculty and staff here at Sacred Heart, to the parents, grandparents, family members, friends, Sacred Heart alumni, and finally, the great graduating class of 2020 the 94th graduating class of Sacred Heart High School, 
of which you have heard me say on numerous occasions, in my opinion, probably one of the best Catholic high schools in the country. Your education here at Sacred Heart has equipped you for whatever your next steps are. College, military, workforce. But we must realize and learn that this healthcare pandemic crisis that we're in now, we must recognize and understand that this is God's way of teaching us that we are all vulnerable. Your faith, your family, your friends will get you through all of this. But what you have learned at Sacred Heart High School will carry you through whatever crisis come our way. This pandemic has taught us to come together, come together with God, our faith, come together taking care of our family, particularly our senior community, our most vulnerable, coming together to take care of our neighbors and our friends, coming together to be responsible, to follow the directives that have been laid out so that we can stay safe and stay healthy, but also recognizing that we must come together to recognize those folks on the front lines who have sacrificed their own lives to take care of the infected. Whether it's the doctors and the nurses, firefighters, police officers, all the way to the EMS and the, even the folks in the grocery stores that are stocking the shelves to make sure that all of us have the essentials that are needed to get through this crisis. But I'm most proud of this class of 2020 is the four years that you've been here at Sacred Heart. You have set the example for being involved in your communities, to be stakeholders of your communities, and to take care of each other. And so my message here is very clear and very succinct. Continue on your journey, but recognize and never forget where you came from. Recognize and never forget the people who have helped you along the way of course, particularly your family, but also the faculty and staff here at Sacred Heart, and be role models for others who follow in your footsteps. Be safe, be well, and God bless all of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the principal of Sacred Heart High School, Mr. Anthony Azera. At this time, I would like to introduce Catherine Brown, president of the senior class to say a few words. What can one say about Katie Brown? A remarkable young lady and leader of her class as a junior and senior. Someone who was a friend to all her classmates, respected and admired for her determination and work ethic. Someone who not only excelled academically, but also someone involved in all aspects of the school community. Academically, Katie ranks in the top 5% of her class, where she is a Summa Scholar, President of the Honor Society and the University of Rochester Academic Award winner. Besides her studies, Katie also found time to participate all four years on both the girls' swim and tennis teams. She captained the swim team her senior year. Her activities range from the debate team, science and technology club, math club, and chess club. She is presently a candidate for student of the year for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, raising over $35,000 over a seven week period. Katie will be attending the University of Connecticut School of Engineering in the fall. Congratulations, Katie Brown. Good evening, everyone. I know that this is a very unconventional situation. Sacred Heart's first virtual graduation. It is unfortunate that we can't be physically present together, 
but I know that we are all together in spirit. I would first like to thank Mrs. Regan, Mr. Azera, and all the faculty and the staff for making us feel the love of the Sacred Heart community over the past few months. These people have gone above and beyond to accommodate us in these unprecedented times. While our class may not be able to celebrate the traditional way, the administration is still giving us the opportunity to experience a graduation and is still allowing us to reunite later when it is safe. To Mrs. Regan, Mr. Azera, all the teachers and all the staff, thank you for making high school such a wonderful experience. From freshman year, when we walked around like deer in headlights, to sophomore year, when we finally started to form true friendships that will last a lifetime, to junior year, when we struggled to balance jobs, sports, and college preparation, and finally, to senior year, when it was the beginning of the end. These years will never be forgotten. I didn't believe Mrs. Taylor in freshman orientation when she said these four years would fly by. They seem to fly by even more quickly in 2020 since the pandemic hit and forced a premature end to senior year. However, high school has still been full of wonderful memories. Between NVL championships, rivalry games, victory dances, proms, field trips, and most important, Christmas door decorating competitions. We've made many memories that will be in our hearts forever. In addition, I want to congratulate you all on the accomplishment of completing your high school years. There were some rough times, full of complaining and venting to Mr. Carlo or Mrs. Wright. However, we always managed to pull through in the end. I must admit, I have been looking forward to this day for a very long time. Yet, now that graduation is here, I am wishing that life would just slow down. Now, I hate to see my days at the heart come to an end. Now, I realize that graduation is bittersweet. After tonight, we will all go our separate ways. We are no longer in Nagelville. We are no longer at the heart. Yet, each one of us has an obligation to take the life lessons we learned here and to use those lessons to create a better world. Especially today, the world needs us to encourage kindness, love, and tolerance, the key notes of the Sacred Heart experience. Together, we can make a positive change. Finally, on a personal note, I want to thank the class of 2020 for helping to shape me into the young woman I have become. My peers have pushed me and helped me to become the student and the person I have always wanted to be. I appreciate every one of you. I have no doubt that we will all be successful in our future endeavors. You are all destined for great things, and I am so honored to be a part of your high school experience. Thank you for all the laughs and for all the friendships that I will cherish forever. I wish you all the best of luck. We are the class of 2020. We are the future, and the future is bright. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2020, David Robillard. David Robillard has certainly left his mark on the Hearts community, achieving high honors all four years and receiving awards for the highest average in algebra, geometry, pre-calculus, computer-aided design, and physics. He also received the Harvard Book Award and was named a Summa Scholar. David achieved a perfect score on the ACT exam, a feat accomplished by only two-tenths of one percent of all test takers. Equally impressive was his 1590 SAT score, including a perfect 800 in math. 
David was also one of 5,600 students nationwide chosen as a candidate for a Presidential Scholar Medallion by the U.S. Department of Education. During his years at Sacred Heart, he was a member of the National Honor Society, boys soccer team, esports team, a student ambassador, and a member of the Forum. He also was involved in three theater productions. His personal goal, which he achieved, was to have a perfect attendance for all four years of high school. David helps with the collection at Mass each week and has been involved with the Giving Tree Project for the last three years at Our Lady of Loretto Parish. In his spare time, David has authored three numerical sequences which have been proven and published in the online encyclopedia of integer sequences, an online reference site for mathematicians. David is the recipient of the University of Connecticut President Scholarship, the Magis Honors Program Scholarship at Fairfield University, and the President's Excellence Award at Sacred Heart University. He has not made a final decision yet on a school, but hopes to pursue a career in engineering and computer science. It is my pleasure to introduce David Robler. Welcome, Mr. Regan, Mr. Rivera, faculty, staff, families, friends, and members of the class of 2020. Unfortunately, senior year is not ending the way any of us expected. However, we cannot let the events of the last two months overshadow the rest of our high school memories. Four years ago, I decided to come to Sacred Heart because I felt that I would be part of something incredibly special. I was right. From my first day at Sacred Heart, I felt as if I were part of a unique community rather than just another face in the crowd. The administration, the faculty, and the staff know all the students by name, regardless of grade. All the teachers are willing to help their students if they are having trouble in a class. The students try to help their friends and look out for them. This is the nature of the Sacred Heart community. This community has granted us many wonderful memories that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. Of course, academics are the main reason for choosing a school, and Sacred Heart offered me a challenging and interesting academic program. Many of my best memories of Sacred Heart come from my classes. Those who know me know that math, science, and computer courses have always been my favorite. However, I must extend my heartfelt thanks to the teachers who helped me struggle through English. Thanks to their influence, I authored a poem that was accepted for the literary magazine. For a math science person, that acceptance was a minor miracle. Ultimately, the academic program at Sacred Heart has enabled all of us to begin the next chapter of our lives well prepared. However, the high school experience is not about just academics. It also includes the friendships we have formed and the fun we have had together. Some of my best memories from the past four years stem from Sacred Heart events, such as Spirit Day and the Christmas concert. I also enjoyed dressing up in costumes on Halloween. My first and favorite costume was a t-shirt with Error 404 Costume Not Found written on it. This costume kicked off a four-year pun war between Mr. Carroll and me. I have also made many friends, friends who I know will still be a part of my life for years to come. I know that all of us share a similar experience, that all of us have memories that will last a lifetime. I have been told that a graduation speech should include some words of wisdom. I would like to share a few important life lessons which I have learned over the past four years. To me, there are two main elements that are essential for success. The first is hard work. It does not matter how skilled you are at something. You will never achieve your best if you do not put in enough effort. The second essential element 
is strong time management. While time management does mean prioritizing, doing what you must do over what you want to do, it also means ensuring that you do not put off short-term goals to focus on long-term goals. Unfortunately, I have not always taken my own advice. There were instances when I barely managed to finish an assignment on time. As much as I hate to admit it, I did turn in some assignments late. However, these experiences have made me realize that everyone makes mistakes. Ultimately, what is important is how you handle them. While you cannot undo a mistake, you can learn from it and avoid making the same mistake in the future. In closing, I would like to thank some of the people who have helped me to succeed. I would like to thank my teachers for always being willing to help me if I were having any problems with school. I would like to thank my family, especially my mother and my grandmother, for their support and their encouragement. My mother and my grandmother have helped me to recognize the value of education and hard work. I am deeply grateful. Finally, to my fellow graduates, I wish you the best of luck in the future. Whether you are going off to college, entering the workforce, or joining our armed forces, I wish you good help, health, happiness, and success. In closing, I would like to share a quote that I recently read. In school, you are taught a lesson and then given a test. In life, you are given a test that teaches you a lesson. May you have the strength to overcome any test that life may give you. Thank you. Once again, it is now my privilege to call upon the principal of Sacred Heart High School, Mr. Anthony Azera. Good evening, parents and the class of 2020. On behalf of Mrs. Regan and myself, thank you all for joining us tonight for Sacred Heart's graduation celebration in honor of the class of 2020. To our parents, it has truly been our privilege to have your children as part of the Sacred Heart family these past four years. Thank you for entrusting them to our care to help educate and mold them in a Catholic-based education. To the class of 2020, Mrs. Regan and myself and our dedicated staff of teachers have worked very hard these past four years to prepare you for your future after Sacred Heart. Besides a most rigorous academic program, Sacred Heart has instilled in each of you the importance of having a kind heart for the less fortunate, exhibiting tolerance and concern for each other, and most importantly, embracing the tenets on which our Catholic faith is built. You are remarkable young men and women who will be leaving us tonight. Please know how proud we are of every one of you. Mrs. Regan and I certainly know these past few months have not been easy or what any of us could have expected. But in true Sacred Heart fashion, you were truly committed to your studies, embracing a new model of learning, showing all of us in the Sacred Heart family the amazing leaders you all are. During these past few months, the kindness, compassion, and genuine love you have shown for each other has not gone unnoticed and is truly helping us all get through these difficult and challenging times together. Thank you for being a light of hope that our community and world so desperately need right now. Whether you realize it or not, each of you is carving out a path for not only your own future, but for all the students that will come after you. Your strength, determination, and dedication to successfully completing your senior year in the face of all of these challenging times 
is inspiring and speaks volumes to your character. No other class in the history of Sacred Heart High School has ever had to experience the model of learning that you have had to. And I will say, you did it brilliantly. I could not be prouder of you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being what Mrs. Regan and I asked you to be, your best selves. It has truly been my honor to be with you these last four years as your principal, and to now recognize you as a fellow alum of Sacred Heart High School. Although we cannot be together for our traditional graduation ceremony, I assure you that each of you is in our hearts tonight as we celebrate you. In closing, to the graduates and families, I'd like to read an email that I received recently from a friend offering a perspective and consolation during this trying period in our lives. It says, to get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. When God takes something from your grasp, he's not punishing you, but merely opening up your hands to receive something better. The will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not protect you. So as you leave Sacred Heart tonight, let's all remember that by your association with this school, you all leave with the grace of God helping and protecting you. May God continue to bless and protect you and your families. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you. And now for a special announcement once again, Mr. Rosera. At this time, I would like to recognize three members of the Sacred Heart family who will be leaving at the end of this year. Social Studies teacher David Kalach, Guidance Counselor Rob Malaspina, and English Department Chair Sandy Nagel. Dave Kalach came to Sacred Heart after his retirement from the Waterbury Public Schools on a part-time basis to help build our advanced placement program in history. He was not only a tremendous addition academically, but he was a great mentor to our younger staff members with his wealth of experience as an educator. I want to thank Dave personally for taking my invitation to return to the Sacred Heart and help build our program. Enjoy your retirement, Dave. Thank you. Rob Malaspina has been a great asset to Sacred Heart during his four years that he has been with us. He was well liked by the entire school community. He always volunteered to be part of every activity at the school. He helped coach the soccer and baseball teams and was always in attendance at every school function. A graduate of Sacred Heart, Rob loved being back at the school. During this pandemic, Rob was so helpful in contacting students through the guidance department and parents to make sure that they were staying up to speed on their classwork and on their classroom activity. Rob will be sorely missed, but we wish him well in his new endeavors. The last member of our staff is someone that, quite honestly, is irreplaceable. Her career at Sacred Heart has spanned over 40 years. She is the department chair in English and someone I have come to highly respect over the past 10 years as her boss. She is not only a tremendous asset to the English department with her wealth of knowledge, but to the entire school community as a mentor and historian. She loves her school and loves her students. 
although sometimes they don't think so. As tough as she seems to her students, she is the complete opposite. I find her to be one of the most caring individuals, always concerned about them and their well-being, well -being, both in and out of school. She is extremely compassionate. She never lets on to them, though. Mrs. Nagel has decided it's time to smell the roses and retire in June, and it is well-deserved. However, her love and teaching and her love of Sacred Heart is not totally out of her system. So she has promised me to return next fall on a part-time basis. Thank you, Mrs. Nagel. We are all happy to know you will still be a part of the heart. Congratulations, Sandy Nagel. To present the class of 2020, Mr. Rosera. Your Excellency Archbishop Blair, the students before you have completed the requirements for graduation from high school as set forth by the Archdiocese of Hartford, the State of Connecticut, and Sacred Heart High School. They are now ready to receive their diplomas. It is with great pleasure and pride that I present to you the class of 2020 of Sacred Heart High School. Elizabeth Roberts Nonamaker. David Michael Robillard. Samuel Lewis Beamer. Andrew Robert Bonnecke. Madeline Rose Buffard. Naila Faith Braddock. Naima Destiny Braddock. Amari Ashawn Brantley. Catherine Victoria Brown. Maraid Caroline Burns. Darius Nathaniel Burris. Catherine Elizabeth Camilleri. Julian Angelo Camarasana. Andrew Mark Campion. Trista Trant Karen. Paige Elizabeth Carroll. Yusheng Shen. Treasure Avion Coleman. Catherine Grace Colgan. Jose Javier Cortez. Jalen Brian Cross. Nicole Anna Da Silva.
Elizabeth Antoinette de Crisanti. Amanda Page DeLevy. Sophia Marie Delano. Jimmy Devin Dennis. Markel Demeek Dolphy. Seth John Drury. Kylie Marie Dubrowski. Kaylee Marie Dufour. Ahmad Marcel Edmonds. Leandro Jesus Fernandez Gonzalez. Matthew Joseph Francisco. Jefferson Estuardo Garcia. Jillian Ray Geffert. Nelson James Gomes. Jaden Gonzalez. Alexander Gonzalez. Shakur Xavier Gordon. Christopher Thomas Icavello. Osa Siri Ibnwari. Christopher Salvatore Isles. Brianna Shante Jenkins. Anias Sabina Johnson. Nevea Jasmine Jones. Aaron Morgan Keene. Vanessa Kula. Fuji Lan. Rachel Ann Leggy. Karen Leon Paredes. Ajanique Rishana Lewis. Howen Lee. Roshwe Lee. Jennifer Marisela Liwizaka. Jacob Andrew Lopez. Styles Marshall. Lauren Ann McDuff.
Zaniah Ivan McMillan. Emma Lynn Minicucci. Julia Allison Mitnick. Ava Rose Mullen. Luis Angelo Navarro. Beverly Nkachi Okoronkwo. Andrew Michael Pelletier. Thayer Michael Picard. Alexander Joseph Pillis. Ezra Elton Rasco. Veronique Morkrina Rasil. Amaya Denise Rivera. Tommy Anthony Romero. Eduardo Romero Garcia. Nicole Giovanna Rotella. Josue Ignacio Salazar. Nicholas Kevin Salerno. Ashley Rose Santoli. Rebecca Ashley Santos. Cassidy Michael Shayan. Kayla Elizabeth Simos. Justin Tyler Stevens. Liana Marie Strout. Amy Tella. Alexander Mark Valenti. Alicia and Ali Villar. Nicholas Sean Warner. Samantha Emily Warren. Brooke Adeline Weaver. Keyshawn Christian Wright. Li Gong Wu. Zha Kong Shu.
Stoning John. How run Jung? Yowin Shen Zhu. I now would like to ask the members of the class of 2020, no matter where you are, to please stand. As a representative of the faculty, it is indeed my privilege now to ask that you all switch your tassels to signify that you are a member of the graduating class of 2020 of Sacred Heart High School. Congratulations. It is now my honor and privilege to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Elizabeth Nonamaker. Before I read this bio and accomplishments, I'd just like to say uh, I have never met a more outstanding young lady than Lizzie. When she entered in as a ninth grader, she was a very timid and shy young lady, and she's leaving us today as one of the most vibrant exciting, involved in everything, takes on every challenge besides academics, and truly someone who represents all the greatness in Sacred Heart. Elizabeth Nonamaker, daughter of Robert and Rhonda Nonamaker, is this year's valedictorian. During Elizabeth's four years at Sacred Heart High School, she worked with immense fervor to succeed academically, receiving the Yale Book Award, the University of Connecticut Presidential Scholarship, the Archdiocesan Summa Scholar Award, and the CIAC Outstanding Arts Award. Elizabeth was also involved in several extracurricular activities, including debate, drama, clubs, cross-country, band, choir, Student Council, National Honor Society, and the Art Club, and could always be counted on to help whenever students were needed at events or fundraisers. She volunteered her services at Mary, Mother of the Church Parish, 
as an altar server, lector, and faith formation assistant. Additionally, Elizabeth volunteered at the Wilkett Food Pantry and shared her beautiful voice singing at fundraising events such as Trees of Hope and the Bob Villette Concert Series. Moreover, she attended the National Student Leadership Conference at Fordham University during the summer of 2019. Elizabeth is a member of St. Peter and Paul's School's graduating class of 2016, of which she was the valedictorian. She is currently a member of the Annunciation Parish in Newington, Connecticut. Elizabeth is attending the University of Connecticut in the fall to major in pharmacy studies and plans to receive a doctorate in that field. It is my honor to introduce the valedictorian, Elizabeth Nonamaker. Good evening, Mrs. Regan, Mr. Azera, faculty, families, friends, and most importantly, the members of the class of 2020. Tonight, we are gathered, although virtually, to celebrate our years at the heart. Tonight, we celebrate each other and the people who made this journey possible. First and foremost, I would like to thank my parents, Robert and Rhonda Nonamaker. Their continual love and support have enabled me to strive to be my very best. Ironically, they went to another Catholic high school in Waterbury, along with my two older sisters. You can imagine that my decision to attend Sacred Heart was a bit out of the ordinary for my family. In fact, I never even imagined coming to Sacred Heart until seventh grade. Even then, I still assumed I'd be going to the other school. But in eighth grade, I noticed a distinct difference. There was one place where people expected me, and there was another place where people wanted me. I followed my instincts and went where I was wanted. I have never regretted that decision. Also, I would like to thank our dedicated administration, faculty, and staff. Neither I nor my classmates would have made it to graduation without all of you. You have taught us not only the valuable curricula of mathematics, science, religion, history, foreign languages, and English, but you have taught us also to be responsible, mature adults. A special thank you to our class advisors, Mr. Carlo and Mr. Ortiz, for all you have done for us over the years. Finally, thank you, Mrs. Regan and Mr. Azera, for being wonderful administrators, especially in this time of crisis. During my first week of high school, Mr. Azera called me down to his office to ask me how I was handling my full schedule of honors classes and an art class without a study hall. To be honest, I don't remember my answer four years later, but I am still impressed that Mr. Azera cared enough to check. This interest in every student is the touchstone of the Sacred Heart experience. We truly are a family. Ultimately, I cannot ignore the reason that I am compelled to deliver this speech from an empty church rather than from a packed gymnasium. There is no denying that the coronavirus has really put a damper on our senior year. But upon consideration, our class is used to adversity. Please take a moment to consider what we, the class of 2020, have been through. We were born very soon after 9-11. We were born into a nation that was wounded by catastrophe. Those emotions reverberated throughout our formative years. When we were in kindergarten, the United States entered the worst recession since the Great Depression. When we were in fifth grade, some of our schools went into lockdown. There was a horrific shooting in Newtown. What an impact that tragedy had on our young minds. When we were sophomores, there was a shooting in Parkland, Florida, a disaster which sparked a movement that I think we all felt dear to our hearts especially in view of Sandy Hook. When the coronavirus came around, we were prepared for the shock. 
We had a long legacy of traumatic events influencing our lives. The week that we left school, the AP Lit class was lamenting that the closing of schools would, of course, happen to us. But here's the thing. We've been brought up to be strong. We've gotten through personal issues and national issues. COVID-19 is just another bump in the road, one that we will collectively surmount. Certainly, we are all terribly upset about not having a traditional graduation, but who else could endure such circumstances except us? We all know the negatives of a virtual graduation. Now, I'd like to propose to you some positive points about a virtual graduation that might help to diminish the negatives. For one, we do not have to melt for hours in the heat of the gym or the basilica. How many former graduates moan that they were afraid that they were going to pass out? Another positive is that we can cheer for each of our friends individually because no one can hear us. We don't have to wait to, until the, everyone's name is called to express our happiness for a special friend. Now those points don't completely alleviate the disappointment of a virtual graduation, but I hope that they alleviate the disappointment even a little bit. I told my parents that I'm not very upset because hopefully I will have two more commencements, one for my bachelor's degree and one for my doctorate. Also, I will be able to come back every year to sing at the future Sacred Heart graduations. I will be able to appreciate once more the beauty of the full Sacred Heart graduation ceremony. But I'm aware that not everyone feels this way, that these conditions are far from ideal. But we must consider that our class is going to be remembered because of the situation. We are the class that had to sacrifice so many traditions yet we endured with dignity. We will get the recognition we deserve. The only major difference is the change in environment for that recognition. 50 years from now, as we receive our golden diplomas, we will be honored as the class that rose above the threat of COVID-19 and still celebrated this momentous occasion. I scoured YouTube for inspiration for this speech that I wasn't even sure I'd have the chance to give. Every valedictorian I watched talked about how much everyone has changed. Truthfully, I don't think I've changed significantly from freshman year to now. Maybe I have a little. I entered high school 5'7", and I'm now 5'8 and a half. Yet, as far as interests and behavior go, I've been relatively static. For the most part, I still have friends with pe I'm still friends with people I knew in grammar school or before I was even in preschool. I have made new friends along the way. Also, I began to sing to an audience for the first time in my sophomore year. So upon consideration, I have changed a bit. The point that I am trying to make is that change must come naturally. And that change just hasn't hit me yet. Like many in my age group, I have a lower sense of self-esteem than I would like. I see this problem in many of my peers. It has become a part of our generation. Maybe this issue can be attributed to all those events I mentioned before. However, despite the typical insecurities, I have never changed myself to fit in somewhere. I figured if I were going to be motivational in this speech, I would focus on the one area of my life that I've been struggling with since sixth grade. I'd like to think I've become pretty well-versed in this area. For a good chunk of my life, I didn't like myself. I think many of my peers can relate to the situation. Mr. Fred Rogers once said, the toughest thing is to love somebody who has done something mean to you, especially when that somebody has been yourself. We all forgive the people who hurt us eventually. I have multiple times, even when the forgiveness has backfired on me. But to forgive myself for being my own bully has been a journey that I imagine I will continue to be on for the rest of my life. I can't speak on behalf of all of you, but I know that my struggles are not singular. Perhaps the change many of you may have experienced from freshman year to now is a result of being yourself, or perhaps it's a result of changing yourself to fit in. Many of you may have matured, while some of you may have pretended to mature in order to fit in. 
I don't intend to sound mean or introspective about change. Self-esteem and change are like evil cousins that can control one another depending on the situation. I do want to share with you an excerpt from Mr. Rogers' commencement speech at Dartmouth in 2002. There's a neighborhood song that is meant for the child in each of us, and I'd like to give you the words of that song right now. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair, but it's you I like. The way you are right now, the way down deep inside you, not the things that hide you, not your caps and gowns, they're just beside you, but it's you I like. Every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings. Whether old or new, I hope that you remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like. It's you, yourself, it's you. It's you I like. Overall, these words have just been a way of telling you all to be yourself. If people don't like you for you, they are not worth your time. There is never a need in this life to waste your time changing yourself just so someone unappreciative will finally appreciate you. Yet, you must also be kind. And when I say be kind, I really and truly mean it. Do not take that fear of being unappreciated and push it on to someone else. That action simply isn't fair. If someone isn't like you, do not let your brain tell you that at least I'm not as weird as he is. I know we are all capable of kindness, and that kindness is going to be the key to our ability to change the world. There is no class better qualified for making a difference in the world. We have had our baptism by fire, and we have come out better people. I believe that each of us, whether we are going to college or to the military or to the workforce, will change the world for the better. Let's go out and make that difference. Congratulations to the Sacred Heart High School class of 2020. Thank you. To offer a prayer for our new graduates, I would now like to call upon the campus minister of Sacred Heart High School, Mr. Dan Matthews. You have just graduated from a school which is named after the limitless love of God, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, with the prayerful hope that all of us may live the rest of our lives with God's love in our hearts and share that love unselfishly with the whole world, holding nothing back. I invite you to pray to the Sacred Heart of Jesus for the first time as alumni of the school which so proudly and so authentically bears that name. O most sacred heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you my heart. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of Sacred Heart High School, Mrs. Eileen Regan. Thank you, Mr. O'Connell. It is my pleasure to be able to introduce you tonight to our spiritual leader, Archbishop Leonard P. Blair. Archbishop Blair is a wonderful friend to Catholic education and to Sacred Heart High School, and for this we are most grateful. We are certainly honored to have him with us virtually tonight, and I know that he will be most impressed with the accomplishments of Sacred Heart's class of 2020. Each graduate has left their mark on the Sacred Heart community, and we are so very proud of each and every one of you. Archbishop Blair, please be assured of our continued prayers and appreciation for the, all that you have done and all that you continue to do for our Catholic schools and church. Your commitment, generosity, and love for each one of us truly signifies that God walks among us. Please join me in welcoming Archbishop Blair. 
As I salute you, our graduates this year, I'd like to share a few thoughts about graduating during a time of pandemic. There's an old Latin saying, per aspera ad astra, which means that it is through what is difficult and bitter that we reach the stars. Almost everything worth achieving in life calls for some physical, mental, moral, or spiritual discipline that challenges us and makes it possible for us not only to grow, to exercise and refine virtues, talents, and potentialities that we might otherwise have never come to have, but in that way, even to become a person that previously we were not, or never even imagined that we would be. The greats in any field became that way by their single-minded commitment, their practice, hard work, and perseverance in the face of opposition, adversities, disappointments, and setbacks of every kind. This is true of success in most any field. It is part of the human condition and the mysterious reality of what, with the eyes of faith, we know to be the cross. Suffering leaves its scars, as it did even on the body of Jesus risen from the dead. But these scars are badges of honor, of adversity and evil that has been overcome. In his case, death itself is overcome. Per aspera ad astra. This is certainly true of every saint. Saints are made, not born that way. And as St. Paul says, it is only through many hardships that we come to the kingdom of God. It is the way that people handle hardships that makes them either saints who live by faith, hope, and love, or unbelievers whose wounds find no healing and who live with a certain emptiness and even despair. Each of us needs to be apostles of charity, encouragement, support, and joy to one another and to all those who are hurting badly in one way or another. The pandemic and the disruption, illness, and death it brings is certainly one of the aspera, the bitter things that are inescapable in life. But we mustn't lose sight of the astra, the stars that symbolize the ultimate destiny of those who live by faith, hope, and love. Your graduation is about the astra, the stars that with God's help you need to reach both in this world and the world to come. For those who love God, St. Paul says, all things work for good according to his purpose. As you graduate, I want to congratulate you, your parents and families, and all who played a part in your high school education. May God bless you and help you to reach the stars. Once again, the president of Sacred Heart High School, Mrs. Eileen Regan. Thank you, Mr. O'Connell. Good evening. Tonight marks the final event of a very special period of time for each member of our senior class. Your journey as a class began when we welcomed you into the Sacred Heart family back in the fall of 2016. Over the past four years, we have celebrated your achievements and successes and all that you have accomplished. Oh, how we reveled in your maturity, both spiritually and academically, that we witnessed each and every day as you became closer in your understanding and in your love of our dear Sacred Heart. In this, our 98th year, know how special each of you is to the traditions that we as a school community hold near and dear to our hearts. Tonight, you join a distinguished group of over 15,000 graduates strong, proud to call themselves graduates of Sacred Heart High School. As you move forward into the exciting journey that lies ahead, always know that you are part of a very special family, our beloved Sacred Heart High School. Be sure to always embrace not only the academic, but also the moral and ethical values that have been instilled in you over these past four years. Your success has not come as a surprise to any of us, for we saw the love and guiding support that each of you enjoyed from your families. The great love and pride that your families have for each of you we know is shining ever so brightly tonight. 
On behalf of Sacred Heart, I'd also like to recognize and congratulate our Val Victorian, Elizabeth Nonamaker, and our salutatorian, David Robillard, along with each one of you, our distinguished and beloved graduates, for a job well done. I'd also like to recognize and thank those graduates that will be entering the armed forces. Please know how grateful we are for your service. May God continue to hold each of you in the palm of his hand. I hope each of you recognizes and understands that your parents and family have given you a gift that you will carry with you for the rest of your life, the gift of your Catholic education. Embrace and find comfort in its strength and take pride in knowing that it is precious. Continue to share this special gift and to make a difference in the lives of others. Each one of you over these last four years has also been blessed to be touched by the finest faculty and staff of any school. Because of their personal dedication, their commitment to excellence, and to each one of you, you are now prepared to meet the challenges that lie ahead. A very special thanks to our graduation coordinator, Mr. O'Connell, to Mr. Carlo and Mr. Ortiz, your class moderators, to Mr. Debkowski, our choir director, and certainly to Mr. Michaud, our videographer, who is bringing this virtual graduation to you, as well to our wonderful faculty and staff for their tireless efforts and helping to make this graduation possible. Special thanks to Father Sullivan, Rector of the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, for hosting us this evening. Congratulations once again to the class of 2020. Always remember, home is never very far away, especially when home is Sacred Heart High School. May the Sacred Heart of Jesus continue to bless you and our dear Sacred Heart in the days ahead. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Job well done. To offer a blessing for the members of the class of 2020 and their families, I would now like to call upon the chaplain of Sacred Heart High School, Father William. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly ask you to send upon your children who are graduating this year, 2020, and their parents and their family members and their friends, a blessing from above in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
class of 2020, congratulations. I just want to say how excited I am for you and how proud I am of all of you and everything that you have accomplished here at Sacred Heart High School. I remember back to freshman year, first coming in, brand new, binder checks, fun Friday, student of the week, and now here you are seniors getting ready to go on and conquer the world. I know that it's very sad that we have to end the school year this way, but just know that you can use it to bond you together. Let it be the glue that keeps your class together because this is something that no one else has ever experienced. And I know that it's been tough, but it's gonna make you stronger in the long run. And we are all here thinking about you and praying for you. And we really just wanna see you succeed. And I can't wait to see what you do at the next level. And to my student council seniors, thank you for everything that you've done these past few years. You've really shown what it is to be a leader. You know, and I know that senior year spirit week is like the culminating event of everything that we've done in student council. So it was very difficult to have to do a virtual spirit week, but you all stepped up to the challenge and you made it a success. And I'm so proud of you for that. And I can't wait to see what you do at the next level. And to my seniors on the cross country team and the softball team, thank you for everything. I have enjoyed watching you grow and mature over the years, and I've probably learned more from you than you've learned from me. And I hope that even if you don't compete at the next level, that you still find a way to enjoy the sport that you've been playing here at Sacred Heart High School. And you know what? We're going to be thinking of you, and hopefully in the future we can get together and celebrate. But until then, congratulations, class of 2020. To the class of 2020, it has truly been an honor and privilege to have watched you grow over the last four years and be your class advisor. It has been an enjoyable ride and wish it could have ended differently. My heart breaks for all of you, but know that I am so happy to welcome you as fellow alumni of Sacred Heart High School. I wish you all nothing but the best in your future endeavors and may God continue to bless each and every one of you. The class of 2020. I've had the pleasure of being one of your class advisors and watching you grow over the past four years. And today is a milestone. It shows how far you've come. So keep learning, keep trying, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing on through your own journey. Congratulations. Hello, friends. I highly compliment all of you on your accomplishments here at Sacred Heart. I look forward to applauding your successes in future endeavors. I pray that the Lord Jesus will continually make your hearts more like his own. Pax et bonum, peace and the good to you all. Hi graduates. First of all, I wanna say congratulations for this amazing accomplishment. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to have been your religion teacher you taught me so much about what it means to live my faith as I watched the kindness you demonstrated toward each other each and every day of your lives at Sacred Heart and in the way you've helped out in your communities. I guess you were really listening when I told you Jesus lives in each and every one of you. I saw Jesus in your beautiful faces every day. Please always remember how special you are and how much the world needs your special talents. We're counting on you to make the world a better place. And we know you won't let us down. God bless all of you. And please stop by and say hello. Anytime my door is always open. Take care. Congratulations, Sacred Heart High School class of 2020. You've done it. You have completed a senior year like no other. Through it all, you have shown true heart. Being as resilient as you have through this time, you have demonstrated the valuable qualities of strength and perseverance, qualities that are certainly going to be an asset in your future endeavors. And with this brings to mind what God spoke to Joshua. Joshua was accepted as the new Moses to bring the Israelites to the promised land. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, the Lord spoke to Joshua. The Lord speaking. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. 
Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So my word to you, hold fast to your Lord. Go, do the great things that he has put you here to do. And don't forget to be awesome. God bless you all. Congratulations, Sacred Heart Class of 2020. No one could have predicted that this is how we were gonna send you off, but the way that you guys have handled this with resiliency and grace is something that you'll always be able to carry with you. My wish for you is that you go forward, remembering the lessons that you learned at Sacred Heart, not just in the classrooms, but in the courts and in our fields, and you go and make this world a kinder, better place. We're proud of all of you. Class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation from our beloved Sacred Heart High School. We are so very proud of all that you have accomplished academically, spiritually, athletically, and through the arts. We wish you much happiness and success in your futures. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Hey guys, Mr. Gomes, class of 2020, we're going to miss you. Have a great time. Future's going to be bright. Go hearts. To the class of 2020, a few years ago, I had many of you in freshman biology. That I thought was a bad year. If you remember, during part of that year, I had to spend some time um, in the hospital due to a busted leg and a few other broken bones. And I thought that was gonna be a, a bad year. But little did we know that just a few years later, we would be sitting here doing this type of video at the end of your high school career. But certainly today is as bright a time as could be because we've all seen recently how a tiny little, um, not even living um, object such as a virus has caused total change in our lives. But it's also opened up the opportunity for all of you to do so many things in the future. A famous female scientist, Marie Curie, who was a two-time winner of the Nobel Prize, has a quote that is really appropriate for this day. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand so that we can fear less. And certainly, with the world in front of you and all that you guys have to give, I think that that is a most appropriate qu quote. And congratulations and good luck to all. Class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. We know the school year didn't end how any of us would have wanted. But don't let these last few months affect your next many years. Don't let this wipe away four years of hard work and determination the friendships you've made, the favorite teachers you've developed close relationships with, the community service experiences you've participated in, the clubs you've joined, the teams you're on, the wins you had, the losses you shared together. Use today and this moment to start your future successes. Today and this experience will help define who you are and what you become. Continue to be great. Continue to make me proud. Always remember you're a member of this family and come back when you can. We love you. Good luck in college and all your future endeavors. Hello, class of 2020. I just wanted to send you a message and tell you I'm truly sorry about how your year ended and know that we are still all in this together. We are thinking about you. We know that you've missed out on your prom, your class night, your graduation, and other important activities. As you know, this also has hit my household especially, so a special shout out to my son, Keyshawn. And just keep your heads up. We'll be through this soon enough and you'll all be headed off to college doing great things. We will still be here and as much as you think you will never return to the heart, there are those of us here who prove you otherwise. So until we meet again, keep the faith and we'll see you soon. Congratulations to the class of 2020. 
This is absolutely not the way you guys wanted to end this year. Um, I wish I had some sage words of wisdom for you guys, but as we've learned over the last 12 weeks, we really don't know very much. So moving forward, I'm just gonna tell you guys to be kind to one another. Never forget where you came from. Always give back to your community and remember how much we love you. Good luck in the future and come back and visit. Love you. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. Although I know you did not expect to graduate virtually, this reality has brought out some of your best qualities. You've always been a class that is flexible and resilient. You look for the best solution in difficult situations. You are kind, you are compassionate, you are leaders who make the world a better place for others. I truly appreciate you all of your friendship. I'd like to thank you for your enthusiasm in class, for your selflessness in helping me with projects in the library, for your assistance in the eSports, the debate, and the forum programs, and for the laughs, the chats, the smiles, and the love. I pray that you will fulfill your dreams and enjoy being you. Know that you are loved, always seek adventure and leave your mark on the world and so class of 2020 woohoo congratulations to each of you hi everyone i'm so excited to be able to do this and so i want to say first of all thank you to mr mashad mr madden Mr. O'Connell and everybody else who's made this possible and for having done graduations for years and making this special for you. I have my notes because I could talk for a long time even though I talk very quickly. So second, I wanna say thank you for an awesome three years of teaching and it's a little goofy, but if you've heard me say it once, you've heard me say it a hundred times, no, not take out your notebook and pens or pencils, but I love you guys. Third, oh, I only hold up two fingers. Third, thank you for fantastic memories. And I'm just gonna name a couple so you can fill in the blanks with your own in there too. But making DNA models, Bunsen burners in the flame test, fingerprinting, my most favorite ever morality class, the thrill of hatching eggs and all the activities, sports, the art and music exhibition, pretty much everything that I went to that had you guys there and wasn't like during class time. Plus, passing in the hallways, lots of highs and smiles. Okay, and last, I bless you in all your future endeavors, whatever they may be and however they unfold. This is a unique time, as you well know, and I also pray for your families who supported you, okay? Love your families. And the thing I would leave you with most is to remember that Sacred Heart is a family, it's not a place. Love you guys, be good. Hello there, class of 2020, Mrs. Charleglio here. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I came down with about a conjunctivitis in both eyes, so believe me when I tell you I didn't want to spoil this special video with my puffy eyes. But I didn't want to miss the um, opportunity to send you my sincere congratulations on this special occasion as you complete your four stellar years at Sacred Heart High School. Let me be the first to welcome all of you as the newest alumni members and give a personal heartfelt thank you to all who volunteered and helped at so many of our events whenever we asked you to do so. Your generous spirit and your love for Sacred Heart was always so evident and fun to watch and so greatly appreciated. I want to thank your parents who so willingly gave of their time, talent, and treasure whenever we needed them. Please know that I'm sending my very best wishes for continued success in college and beyond and in all your future endeavors as you embark on this new and exciting journey after high school. Please stay safe and well. Please make good choices and take all the knowledge that you acquired here at the heart and put that to good use. 
And I know this isn't um, at all what you or any of us would have ever imagined for your graduation and for your final months at the heart, but this pandemic can't take away all the great memories created with your classmates in our school community. Please know that you're loved, you will be so missed, and remember, wherever you go and wherever life leads you, go with all your heart. Congratulations again, and may the Sacred Heart of Jesus bless this very special class of 2020 and their families always. Hugs to you all, Mrs. C. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I know this isn't exactly the graduation that you want, but it's unique. It's as unique as you are. You have a unique story to tell, go tell it. You have a chance to go out and change the world, so go change it. And you'll always, always, always have a place with us. Many of you I've coached, and it's always been my honor and privilege to coach you. You will be missed here very much. And remember, you're forever a heart. Hi seniors, class of 2020, you guys did it. With everything going on in the world, with this pandemic, um, it's amazing what you guys have accomplished, staying committed to your studies, working hard, listening to your teachers, doing everything you had to do to graduate. So congratulations, it's really amazing what you guys did. More importantly to my track seniors, I miss you guys. It's not how I wanted to, uh, to send you guys out this last season. Me and Coach Fester were really, really excited. I think we had a lot of, a lot of momentum coming out after indoor and uh, obviously things happened. And uh, me and Coach Fester, very, very proud of you guys. We miss you. We wish we were out there practicing and competing. I think we had a, a big season coming to us, but we're really proud of you guys, how you've reacted and been so mature. And um, yeah, we just miss you guys. And again, very, very proud of you guys. Congratulations. Um, just to name a few seniors, Jackie, Jesse, Nick, Bev, Ronnie, you guys did it. Congratulations. I'm so, so proud of you guys. It was an absolute pleasure coaching you guys. You guys are great student athletes. And uh, again, it was just an honor coaching you, for you guys to put your trust in me and to listen to me and Coach Festa and what we guys accomplished over a couple of years. It was a lot of fun. It was a good ride. Again, I, I wish it didn't end this way, but uh, all you guys have such a bright future. I'm excited to hear from you guys and hope to see you guys soon. Congratulations again. Stay safe. Coach Picard here to congratulate our amazing senior class. To Amaya and Paige, I'm so proud of you for your countless achievements, both on and off the court. Wishing you a future full of success and happiness. Love you. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the graduating class on your accomplishment. Your, hard, your four years of hard work has finally paid off. I wish all of you the best of luck in whatever your, your endeavor may, might be in the future. <clears throat> I would especially like to congratulate Amaya Rivera and Paige Carroll, two of my basketball players. Amaya has played for four years, Paige for three. Amaya, I know at this time you are uncertain on where you are going to go to school, but I'm sure whatever you choose, you will be fine. Paige, congratulations on choosing the University of Connecticut. I hope that when this virus is over, in the fall, we will be able to get together at some of the UConn basketball games. Once again, congratulations to both of you and good luck in the future. Love you guys. To the graduating class of 2020, congratulations on completing your four year journey here at Sacred High School. To the student athletes that I have coached over the past four years and their parents, it was my honor. I am so proud of each and every one of you for how you've conducted yourself during this difficult time. All the best to all of you and much success in your future endeavors. And again, congratulations on a job well done.
Congratulations to the class of 2020. I am Coach DeSitis, the baseball coach. Unfortunately, I did not have the privilege of coaching uh, the seniors this year during the baseball season. I would like to wish uh, the baseball team specifically the best of luck in their future endeavors. Congratulations to all the student athletes on four years of, of great success. Unfortunately, you have your uh, senior season was cut short with not having your spring sports, but don't let that deter you. You guys have had great memories over your last four years uh, through your teams, winning championships and personal accolades. As a graduate of Sacred Heart, I had the privilege of playing basketball and baseball for four years while there. And those are some of the best memories of my life. So good luck to all of you. Congratulations on graduating and you will be successful in all your future endeavors. Congratulations. Sacred Heart High School class of 2020. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Gianni Perugini. It was an honor of mine to be associated with the Sacred Heart High School boys soccer program as a coach for just about 10 years or so. Um, even though I've moved on in my professional career, I still cherish the relationships I developed at Sacred Heart High School with the administration, the staff, families, and especially the student athletes, specifically the graduating class of 2020, who I've had the pleasure of coaching I know Sacred Heart High School has given you the necessary skills to help you be successful in life, and I, I was lucky to be a small part of your development. I wish you could have had the full blessings of a traditional Sacred Heart High School graduation, complete with you in your cap and gown walking down the aisle of the Immaculate Conception Church, but unfortunately, uh, that can't happen. You know, times in, in our society are tough right now. We're experiencing some unprecedented obstacles. But, you know, Henry Ford said it best. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off your goal. So do not dwell on what you've missed out on now. Instead, keep your focus on your future goals and accomplishments. And, you know, I can't wait to read about them in the years to come. So keep learning. Keep trying, keep moving forward. Remember to make sacrifices when you need to. Always work hard and be respectful. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Guys, just wanted to say congratulations to our seniors on the boys soccer team. We really enjoyed every second of coaching you guys this year. And uh, we just wanted to share a memory for each of you guys. Sam. This was your first year playing high school soccer, but by the end of the season, it looked like you had been playing for all four years. Um, in the last game, it really showed against Seymour, and you shut him down all game. Great job. Seth, it was really awesome to see the joy and excitement on your face after you scored your goal against Derby. Nelson, remember that time you called your goal? You were itching to get into the game late against St. Paul. We put you in within a few minutes. He got us right back into the game with a nice goal. Jose, another guy who, it was his first time playing high school soccer, but from day one we saw that he was a standout. His, his effort um, was second to none, and he brought that intensity to each match. Nick, you battled through back injuries the whole season, but you were, you were there for the team when we needed you the most, and you got us a big assist against Volkit um, to win us a, an important game. Matt Francisco, bringing short shorts back into style. Uh, I thought you had a great start to the year. You were really coming into your stride early on. Unfortunately, you had the knee injury that ended your season a bit early, but you continued to be a great teammate down the stretch. Um, I hope that you continue playing in the future and best of luck to you. One of our captains, Eddie Romero, you started off the season with a bang by scoring a game tying goal with seconds left on the clock against Chase in the Jamboree. Leo, another one of our captains and the heart and soul of our team. Uh, you put the team on your back in a game against Crosby when you scored a wonder goal from 40 yards out to give us the 1-0 win. We'll miss you, buddy. We'll, we'll miss, miss you guys. guys. Have a great summer. Emma and Renique, I want to congratulate you on your graduation from St. Heart High School. I also want to take a moment to thank you for your hard work and dedication to our girls soccer program, which you guys were my first four-year 
senior class. You brought our program to new heights, getting us into the state tournament, and rebounding back from your ACL injuries. You guys are exceptional. Thank you, and good luck in your future endeavors. Class of 2020, I would first like to thank you for the last four years. The laughs, the shared experiences, your hard work, and your understanding. You've helped me become a better teacher in all aspects. I will miss our classes and going to your out-of-school events and cheering you on. Again, thank you for these memories. This obviously isn't the way that you wanted to finish at the heart, but it's making you stronger. It's tough to deal with. In one of my favorite books, written by Dr. Viktor Frankl, he points out, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. So, as with any situation in life, after getting frustrated too many times, it's time to take on a new perspective. You may be anxious or nervous about what lies ahead, but whether you realize it or not, you have the skill set and the experiences to succeed in whatever you pursue. I believe in you. A special thanks to my four senior tennis players, Naima, Katie, Ava, and Kayla. Thank you for all of your hard work and dedication. You've improved tremendously over the four years and you've helped build this tennis program during your high school career. We've had great times together and I'm so sorry that we could not get out there this season. Again, congratulations class of 2020. Thank you to all the teachers for your support and understanding over these past few months. Thank you for all the tough love and guidance over the past couple of years. We will miss you. Thank you again. On behalf of the class of 2020 and the entirety of the Sacred Heart student body, thank you to our guidance department for your care and dedication to each and every single one of us. Mrs. Taylor, Mr. Malaspina, and Mrs. Gugliotti, you've all worked tirelessly to help us in so many ways. You've guided us through the college process, You've ensured we all fulfill our community service hours, and you helped us to each succeed to the best of our abilities throughout our high school careers. With your guidance, we are all ready to embark into the next chapter of our lives. The smiles that greet each student that walks through your doors do not go unnoticed, and we cannot begin to thank you enough for your support over the past four years of our lives. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to say a special thank you to everyone who works in the main office. Throughout the years, you have always greeted us with a smile and have been willing to help with any problem we were facing. As we embark on the next chapter of our lives, we will always remember the values you and the rest of the faculty have instilled in us. Thank you for a wonderful four years. Thank you to Mrs. Regan and Mr. Rizera at Sacred Heart High School for continuing to do your best and for being there for the class of 2020 during this quarantine. We appreciate you so much and thank you for all that you have done over the past four years.